Go. Hundreds of years ago, of a war, and a plague had killed the once mighty empire of Jaguar Kingdom. To a shadow of its former glory, neither the brilliant battlefield victory nor the cunning sorcery of the great queen Nye could stem the tide of the decline of her people or of her gods. A once great pantheon now faded to near extinction. Seeing that her civilization doom was selected, Nai made a plan. She, uh, she would cast a spell drawing into herself the ascents of 11 surviving gods of the Jaguar Kingdom and during battle, the battle of Ixlavia, a Valkyrie offered Nai a place in Valhalla. She accepted, carrying Xanakulti, the cult, Ebba, the snake, and the nine other allying gods with her to the Great Hall. In Valhalla, Nai is a consuet warrior and has grown to love the place yet she never lost sight of her purpose her victorious nourish the gods of her people and little by little they recover Nai believes tales of ragnarok represent asgard's dim understanding that creation is and that the asgardians must be destroyed for the world to be renewed and for her gods to rule again. Young Natori was so gifted with the sword that the emperor offered a prize of 1,000 horses to anyone that could defeat her. For years, new warriors came to court every day only to be, to be defeated. But one day, the demon Kayagama arrived to challenge her. Tori sensed his malevolent power and fled. Enraged, the demon kidnapped Tori's three sisters and carried them away to his island kingdom. Horrified by the consequences of her actions, Tori built a boat out of reeds and pursued the demons. She was lost at the sea until a stork lord showed her the the passages between the twilight and the night to demon's realm to the demon's realm there Hattori found a bizarre world of talking stones and eight armed ferrymen the city of the onyx castle she met kayagma's own brother who offered to give Hattori's his strength to defeat his brother in return for her hand in marriage. True to his world word, the demon exchanged his own blood with Hattori's and Hattori slew Kayagma and freed her sisters. She became the queen of Island Kingdom, but she, her demon blood burned in her and drove Hattori to wonder the twilight passage until she discovered Valhalla through the internal tournament. Hattori slacks the l lacks the lust of battle that threatens to consume her. To most, Terminus is a distraught prison realm where fighting violently and dangerous undesirables are banished to. Petra, to Petra, Terminus is home, born in a chaotic nexus dimension which contains Terminus. Petra was a wild and unforgettable. As her native world, while a young, while a young street urchin, Petra bought and sold anything forbidden, stem packs, mana potions, mayo, Mayo Chu, 
she would fight anyone in any way. At 16, she took over her street gang by defending the previous boss in what can only be described as flying laser death chase. By 18, her gang, the in incarnates, ran the raptor pits and the cyborg rings. At 19, the incarnates were at one of turf won a turf war that gave them control of a dark heart query that would change Petra's life forever. Before Terminus was a prison, it was a mine, the only source in the multiverse of the crypto or called Dark Heart. The power and danger of Dark Heart was so great, the gods folded Terminus into its own dimension and declared it eternally bound just to coronate the war. Dark Heart became the ultimate cosmic contract band. Some say Petra was infected by Darkheart. Others say she unlocked its power. Whatever whatever the truth, she has brought the mythic ore and its strength it imbues to Valhalla. In Valhalla, Petra is a quarrelsome, violent, brooding, un unrarely and very well liked. Her orb sparring matches with Thor draw huge crowds and huge fines for property damage, both of which to ignore.